I got a question for you. Do you have a conventional mortgage loan with mortgage insurance and are still paying that insurance? Your answer may be a big <sighs> yes. If so, you may be more excited about my next question. Are you ready to stop making those payments? <laughs> I'm sure you're now saying, yes, please tell me more. But now you're probably paused and you're thinking, but, but how? Doesn't that mean I have to refinance? Well, I'm here to let you know that there is another way to drop mortgage insurance without refinancing. Refinancing is an option to drop mortgage insurance, so let's not count that out. But refinancing isn't always feasible. Let's say the rates went up since you financed the purchase of your home. You're not going to want to refinance if that's the case. So what do you do to drop mortgage insurance if it's the wrong time to refinance? Well, you simply request it. That's right. It's that easy. Well, uh, there's a few requirements, but asking is easier than refinancing. First off, you must have an acceptable payment record. The mortgage payment for the month preceding the date of termination request must be paid. You must have no payments 30 or more days past the due date in the last 12 months and no payments 60 or more days past the due date in the last 24 months. So before going over the next set of requirements, it may be worth going over why the loan has mortgage insurance. For conventional loans, typically a borrower will put 20% down on the purchase of the home and only finance 80% of the value of the home. 20% is not required for a down payment and borrowers can qualify to pay less of a percentage. But that means they will be financing more than 80% of the loan to value. In this case, private mortgage insurance is required. So to request to drop mortgage insurance, the remaining amount owed needs to decrease below 80% loan to value. So with all that said, here are the next set of requirements. If you have owned the house for less than two years and want to request the termination of the mortgage insurance, you have two options. Suppose you made improvements or renovations on your house and you believe the work done will increase the value of your home, making what you still owe on the mortgage to be less than 80% of the new value of the house. In that case, you can do a new valuation to show the increase in the property value. Or if you have made enough payments in less than two years and now owe less than 80% of the home's value, you can use the original evaluation to prove this. If you have owned the home for two to five years, the loan to value needs to be under 75%, and you will need a new valuation to prove you now owe less than 75%. So that's how you drop private mortgage insurance without refinancing. But maybe refinancing is a feasible option for you right now and can save you more money. There is no amount of time you have to own the home before refinancing. Improvements or renovations are not required, you can benefit from your area's appreciation. As long as you will only be financing 80% or less of the loan to value, then you will not be required to have mortgage insurance. There are so many factors that should be considered when making a financial decision like refinancing, as it can really affect your finances positively or negatively. Your mortgage specialist is here to guide you to make the best decision. So reach out to them today to discuss your options. Thanks for watching.